In this video, we look at cybersecurity threats and specifically forms of attack. There are many different forms of cybersecurity threat that can be carried out against a computer system. For example, brute force, data interception, DDoS, hacking, malware, farming, phishing, and social engineering. So malware is software written to infect computers and commit crimes. For example, thwart and identity theft. Malware often exploits vulnerabilities in operating system software. The term malware covers a range of different types, including viruses, trojans, worms, ransomware, spyware, and adware. And we're gonna cover this in more detail in another video. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people so they give up confidential information. Similar to malware, social engineering is an umbrella term to describe several forms of attack. The two listed in your syllabus are phishing and farming. There are many other common techniques such as blagging, baiting, quid pro quo and shoulder surfing. Again, we've got a separate video that's going to discuss social engineering in more detail. So a brute force attack is a trial and error method used to decode encrypted data like passwords and other personal information. It uses exhausted effort in an attempt to steal sensitive data by trying, for example, all possible passwords or key combinations. Brute force attacks can either be automated or manual. Hacking is a broad term which describes any act which attempts to gain unauthorized access to programs or data. Again, it can be either automated or manual. A distributed denial of service attack or DDoS involves flooding a server or other target with useless traffic from multiple machines operating together, causing it to therefore become overloaded and unavailable. DDoS attacks often make use of a botnet, a group of hijacked internet connected devices to carry out large scale attacks. Many DDoS attacks exploit limitations in the TCP IP stack. Data interception and theft involves monitoring data streams to and from a target to gather sensitive information. Attackers may use a technique known as network sniffing, monitoring traffic on a network to pick out unencrypted passwords and various configuration details. You also shouldn't overlook the simplicity of physical theft. This can often be the easier option, especially when storage files or removable media are left insecurely. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now. And take some notes.